Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Sally Hearts Check 80 show. I am your host, Sally Hearts Check 80. Hi guys! Thank you so much for showing up today and making me a part of your wonderful, fabulous Tuesday that I hope you're having. I hope it started great. I hope it's going great. So, it's finally here, guys. On today's show, I am going to be doing part one of my long-awaited, very re requested... Let me get that out. <laughs> Room tour part one. So I was really super nervous about doing this, guys. And um, I, like, my room is my sanctuary from the world. I really don't let too many people into it because it is my place to regroup, 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 and re regather. So this is a special treat, and I am kind of nervous about letting y'all in here. But you're my friends. And I just hope you will enjoy it, me sharing my collection with fellow collectors. So let's get the show on the road. So, up here on my counter, there is my sink. There's my cute little Pinkie Pie soap dispenser. And then over here is my Britney Spears fantasy bottle. Yes, I did buy this because I love fantasy. It smells good. I don't wear it on myself, but I like to use it as an air freshener. <laughs> And here's a little bit of my cute little uh, Madame Alexanders from uh, McDonald's. A few girls from my um, different animes that I like. This is a Hello Kitty that I painted myself at a ceramics place where, you know, you can paint your own ceramic and they fire it for you and do all that stuff in a kiln. Really, really cool idea. If you guys have that where you live, I totally suggest doing it. It's so much fun. Oh, one more thing before I go further. The lighting is horrible in here. As you can see, two are working, one just burnt out. So my lighting in here is completely awful. <laughs> so I just like to, I need to get better lighting, guys. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to break down and just get myself some lighting. So over here is my Madame Alexander sissy doll as Dorothy. I love the Wizard of Oz. She was super adorable, and I got her as a gift from a really special person, and I am so happy that they bought her for me, because she is stunning. And over here is Alex Fairchild Ford. She is also by Madame Alexander. She used to be a doll they made. I don't think they make her anymore. Um, That was like 15 and a half inches tall. She was a really big fashion designer in New York. She's super, super pretty. This doll is the limited edition that I got at FAO Schwartz years and years and years ago. And this, of course, is Dorothy Gale Barbie, who is super, super cute. I love how she has, like, this updated, kind of naughty look for Dorothy. But she's still super cute. She doesn't have to be naughty. She just doesn't want to wear a super long, poofy skirt like that, Dorothy. And then, of course, I have a Jade doll from Bratzilla's that I... I was not a huge Bratzilla fan, but I love the pink hair, and so I put a cute Bratz kimono on her, and she looks adorbs. And there's some Nihao Kailan. It's totally an Nihao. Not Nihao. It's Kailan. <laughs> Nihao is hello. And here's a Lisa Frank stuff I got on my wall. A little bit of this and that. There are my Ginnies. I love Ginny dolls. They are amazing. There's my Princess Serenity Sailor Moon doll. And over here is Cardcaptor Sakura, Sakura and her friend Mei Lin. But I did not like their little tiny bodies, and I thought their heads were, like, too big. So I customized them by putting them on Lottie Da bodies, which they look super cute, in my opinion. I love the Lottie Da body on them. It's so adorable. And they are super cute. Of course, I use Lottie Da outfits because they were just so fitting. And up there, I have Sailor Venus and some Sailor Moon stickers and a poster. And up there is a um, Sailor Moon that my mom made on the Rainbow Loom. My mom loves Rainbow Loom, and she always makes me these cute little Rainbow Loom dolls that I love and cherish. There is a button that I got at Hot Topic. There is Sailor Neptune, because I love her. She is my favorite Sailor Scout. Because I don't consider Sailor Moon a Sailor Scout, but I guess she is, only because she's, like, the leader. And there is a phone, a phone, an iPad cover that I got from Japan. But I decided to use it as a picture on my wall, because I, I used it a couple of times on vacation to Los Angeles. And it kind of got a little chipped around the edges, and I, I was like, oh, I don't want this to get ruined. And so it looks cute as a ornament. 
And up there on top is a Hello Kitty keychain that I got. She's in her kimono looking super cute. And up there, I have my Hello Kitty plush and plush pillow from Comic Con from San Diego. I think from 2013. It's been a while. I can't remember. And I can't remember what these cute little girls are here, but they're like kawaii something. They're super adorable. Uh, and I had to get them. I got them each for $10 each at Toys R Us, I think, last December. So I've had them for a while. Hello Kitty Bank. And up here on top is my Gwen Stefani Harajuku Lovers collection. I have all four of the girls. Love, Angel, Music, and Baby. And there's a binder and some little pictures and stickers that I stack up there because I really, really love the Harajuku girls. They are cute. And that is a collectible perfume box that I have with love on it. I love the drawing. The artwork is super, super amazing. And that is Gwen, of course. And down here I have the Comic-Con Hello Kitty poster. Super adorbs. And there is... Who, what's his name? Rick Grimes and Michonne. I love Michonne. She kicks butt. I named one of my American girls after her because she's fabulous. And there's my Sailor Moon backpack that I got from Hot Topic. And over here is my Moxie Teen Tristan. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's terrible, I know. Um, I had her since the Moxie Teens first came out. She's a beautiful, beautiful doll. I wish they would have never discontinued these dolls. Super, super great. I love the articulation and the joints. I'm not removing her from the box because the box and the artwork and her are just too perfect. And I love them inside. And so over here in this corner is my Asuka doll. Well, it's an action figure that I got from Universal Studios. They have this really cool comic shop down on the Universal City Walk. I don't know if it's still there because I've had her since I was like 16, I want to say. And she's from Evangelion, of course. I love that anime. And up here's Belle Dandy from Ah oh My Goddess. My, um, what's that called? Wolverine straw from 7-Eleven because I'm a huge Wolverine fan. I love the X-Men. And I also love Hugh Jackman. He's amazing. And these are my cute little, little twin stars from Sanrio. He's the boy. And there's Chi from Chobits, and I have my Chobits poster up there. My Strawberry Shortcake Rainbow Loom doll. There is a poster of Asuka and um, Shinji from Evangelion. And then I have this cute Holly Hobbit tray. It was a dinner tray from the 80s, and it says start each day in a happy way. And I hung it on my wall because I like to see it when I'm getting ready in the morning. It's super positive. And I love to have a really nice, positive a boost of energy before I head out into the world, because sometimes it can be a scary place. <laughs> and this is my Tenchi Muyo poster. I love this series. It is a great anime, and I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. It's been out for a few years. I mean, this came out when I would say I was like 15. But it's really, really good, and you'll love it. It's got princesses, space age, all that kind of stuff. And right here, they're doing a homage to Star Wars. And over here is my Lala Loopsie collection. I got little ones, big ones. I decorated the walls with the Lala Loopsie stickers and hearts because I thought it was fitting. Really, really cute. And then I have my Cupid porcelain right there because they're adorable. Pebbles Flintstone, Polly Pocket in her car, some old Littlest Pet Shops, which I love. And that cute little girl, I always forget what those are, but I used to have a ton of them when I was little, but now I only have her. Oh my goodness, Playmobil, there we go. And down there is my Ranma comic book wrapped up, and I have these cute little... What were those called? Those Lala Loopsies that you put together. They're really, really adorable. There's my cute little Yasmin. Angelica. There's my brats right in there. I put them all on the same shelf. My cute little Lego minifigures. These adorable little um, Shopkins. My very first Shopkins I ever got as a gift from the fabulous Walkaway Win. Thank you, Bobby. You are such a sweet and nice guy. And this is um, from the Rugrats. No, not the Rugrats. I'm getting all confused with my Nickelodeon. Oh my goodness. It's Debbie 
Annalisa from the Wild Thornberries. There we go. Super, super adorable. Love that show. This is the only Novi star I got, Mae Talik. She's super adorable. I loved her. I got her as a gift. I love that. I will not be able to get it with my camera because my ca camera stinks. I love when you go close to her eyes. She has um, a skull and bones in there. Super, super cute. And then this little doll is a lollipop girl. She's not really little. She's super tall. She is a doll uh, that was created by the fabulous New Zealand artist Jan McLean. And I love Jan McLean's work. I don't know if these dolls are still available. I know they're highly collectible. But they're super, super fabulous. And her name is Sissy. And she is a teenage a fashion model. I love her pink hair. It is just so adorable. And each girl comes with a lollipop. And there is my cute little Frankenstein-inspired Lala Loopsie, whom I love. I think her name is Scraps and Stitches. <laughs> and up there are my five Rugrats from Mattel from back in the day. They're from the 90s. I was a huge fan of the Rugrats. When they came out in 1991, I was 11. They didn't get super popular until almost the middle, late 90s. And that's when Mattel came out with these cute little... They're like little tiny dolls, but they're not so huge. You could like use them in play sets. And this, of course, it begins my zombie collection. All the way up top, it's mixed with Gulia. The Walking Dead, you see my Daryl plush there and my Daryl tin. It goes all the way around. See that up there? And then down here, it continues. There's more Gulia. There is a picture of me and Norman Reedus, Daryl Dixon himself. I met him at an Image Expo, and he is amazing. If you guys get the opportunity to go to a Comic-Con and meet him, I suggest you do it. He is one of the coolest, awesomest guys on the planet. He signed my Daryl Dixon action figure for me, the very first Daryl Dixon action figure, and I love it. It is super sweet. A dear friend of mine got me this, too, as a gift. I was so happy because I got to take it, and Norman signed it for me. This is my collection of... Walking Dead. Funko Pops! Uh-oh, something just fell. And see, I have Gulia mixed in there. Down here, I have my chibis up there. More Gulia. I got these on eBay. They were made by Panini. Super, super cute. More Walking Dead. Down here, I hung Gulia's glasses. This is a picture of Norman that he signed for me. There's Gulia hanging out. More Gulia. One of the ears that um, Daryl had tied around his neck in The Walking Dead. I got it from um, GameStop when I reserved a game there. There's Herschel, Michonne, Rick Grimes, Andrew Lincoln on the cover of Rolling Stone. One of these days, I'm going to meet Andrew, and he's going to sign right across there. I'm hoping that I do get to meet him, because that would be awesome. And then over here is Carl. There's Michonne, Rick, and Carl, the chibis up there. And then down here, I have this sticker that says Brains. And then I made this Walking Dead sign myself. I colored it and smeared it, tried to make the walking look old, and the dead kind of have a bloody effect. There is another poster that I have there that says, Warning, please do not feed the zombies. Here's my hang tag from the Image Expo when I went there. And down here I have Gulia. She's a cutout that I cut out of a poster because I only wanted Gulia. And on top I put I Love Daryl Dixon because I have this, like, fan thing. What is it called? Um... Fan fiction of where Gulia being a zombie, she is in love with Daryl Dixon, and she watches The Walking Dead. It's kind of silly, it's kind of funny, but I think it's hilarious. And there's where I hung slow-mo, because he's like, don't forget about me, Gulia. And right here, I have my Entertainment Weekly with Norman Reedus on it. Here is a felt picture that I took of Gulia. Well, not I took, but I colored of Gulia. And down here, I have this Walking Dead poster book. More Gulia, Men's Fitness with Daryl on it. And then there's my Carol action figure. And down here is the Walking Dead comic book that they gave you at the Image Expo when you went. Gotta cover that. Oh my goodness, and she fell. <laughs> So here is where I keep my Lottie Dawes. I've already showed you guys this collection. There they are, looking all sweet and cute. And over here, 
let me get down this way, is where I keep my Monster High collection. It's kind of dim over here, guys. Once again, I'm so sorry about the lighting. There is Blood Good down here. These girls are hanging out. There is Operetta in her car. Now, this car I got at Amel's Diner. It was super, super cute, and I said, Operetta would look amazing in this. Could I please have one? They were nice enough to give me one. And she does look cute. I think it matches her perfectly. And I don't know why, but Gigi's randomly here laying on the ground. <laughs> and there is Torolai and Frankie. And right there, I used the side of the boxes to cut them out and use them as decoration. All my girls back there. It's dark. Once again, sorry, guys. So there you go. And then up on top is my American Girl collection. There are some of my girls there. There's Haley. Tallulah's in the back right there. You can't see her. This is Leah Michelle. Back there is Stewie. This is Marisol. And behind there is Harley. And then there's Mia and Michonne right here. And then up on top, I have Kit. Oh my goodness, I forget her name all the time. Kit, Emily, Sage, Isabel, Julie, and my girl, um, Margo. Sorry, Margo. You're my favorite. And there's some random stuff I have up there. These are hair ribbons that I got from Build-A-Bear. They give them to me for free, and they work really good on my American Girls. And back here, I have Marie Grace. And up on top, there is Akiko, Carly, Giselle, um, Mary Margaret, and Lolly. So that is my American Girl collection. And then I have a few Precious Moments things up here. This is the card that came with my Isabel doll that my parents bought me. There you go. And so I decorated the back of the wall. Up here I put stickers of the girls along the side. And let me see, what am I forgetting? Oh yeah, over here I have my ponies and my My Melody collection and my My Melody Barbie. My Funko Pop My Melody, and this little My Melody I've had since 1984 when I was little. Back there is CM Punk. <laughs> He's just hanging out, squished back there. And then I have a watch. My mom made me a My Melody Rainbow Loom doll. And then up there is a keychain that I got. When I bought this My Melody, they gave me that little keychain backpack cookie thingy for um, free. And then I put these little posters up, little stickers of Karomi, because I love her. She is adorable. And then here is my My Little Pony light switch cover. And then down here is where I keep my Fluttershies, all sweet and cute, except for this big one. She stays over here. And I got other little ponies mixed in there. Celestia, Spike, Rarity, Applejack. This cute Rainbow Dash tin comes with hearts in the inside, and they are delish. Sunset Shimmer is right there. And then down underneath here, I have more ponies. A few Equestria girls. There is the Grinch down there. And then there are my Sailor Moon books. Oh, I love these ponies. They're so cute. And then down here is where I keep... There's Twilight Sparkle. Let me move her out of the way. Down here is where I keep my um, collection of Ever After High dolls. Got the little LED lights up there to shine on them a little bit. So there they are. Looking all cute. Let me see you girls over there in that corner. Hey ladies, what's up? Oh, and gentlemen. <laughs> can't, can't forget about Hunter. And then over here is where my plush rarity is. There's a picture that I have from the fabulous artist Mark Ryden. He is amazing. I love his work. There's my Veronica doll, my Betty doll, my Scooby-Doo crew, Fred, Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scoob down here. And then this is my princess, um... Oh my god, Twilight Sparkle, who talks, sings, and her wings flap. So there you guys go. That is my room 
part one of my room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, around here I put stickers of Hello Kitty, Lala Loopsie, and over here I have Karomi. Really, really cute. I love to decorate things. Oh, and I forgot to bring you over here. There's Rogue, an uh, action figure I have of her. And this is a really cool anime. If you get a chance to watch it, go to Crunchyroll.com. It's super amazing. It's Kimi ni Todoke. It is a great story about these two wonderful kids. It's really, really nice. And this comic I have hanging on my mirror because... I bought this when I was a teenager, and I was like, yes, Rogue and Gambit, they're going to get to kiss at last. Because, you know, Rogue, unfortunately, can't get close to another human being because she'll suck out all their powers. But, of course, she was having a dream, but the artwork is really, really pretty, and I love the photo. Her and Gambit look super, super adorable. Here's my little Harley Quinn collection, and my cute little Build-A-Bears, build my cute little T.Y., um, Beanie Babies that my aunt got me, and she also put them in this acrylic case. And there is Captain Picard. He has been mine since I was a youngin' because he is my favorite Star Trek captain ever. Love him. And there is Betty Boop. This was a, a doll that my mom got, but she let me put it in my collection because I am a huge doll fan and I love Betty Boop. She is adorable. And this down here is my Enterprise ship. Inside is the DVD of the Star Trek movie that came out a few years ago. I really, really loved it, and I like that they included it in this. And it was super amazing. And there is my little twin star girl that matches with the brother. And then we got Happy Bunny here, because he makes me laugh. And a whole bunch of little stickers everywhere. So, there you guys go. That is part one of my room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I it came out okay. I hope it looks lovely and you guys can see everything. Thank you so much again for subscribing and for watching. And once again, I hope you guys love it. Um, and more room tour videos are going to come, so don't worry. If this one goes good, then I will continue with the rest of my room. So thank you guys so much. Hope you continue to have a wonderful Tuesday. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed part one of the tour. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe for more doll and toy adventures with me, Sally Hartshack 80 Thank you so much. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself, be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous We Toy Collectors Can't Get Enough world, <laughs> you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye.